what could be more terrifying than buying a brand new TV, putting it on the latest firmware just to figure out that the latest firmware actually makes your TV look worse? That's usually what happens to a lot of people that buy the Samsung S95B, and here today I'm telling you not to update your television for probably the millionth time. Now, when you buy a newer Samsung S95B at the present in May 2023, we're closer now to June, you're going to be getting firmware 1310. Do not update from 1310. Now, I can go through a whole long explanation as to why that is, but I will just kind of summarize it by telling you it just makes things worse. So if you go back in the playlist and you watch my older Samsung S95B comparison between the firmware 1420 and something like the day one patch, you'll be able to see that the motion just got worse. These aren't the kind of things that you want to experience because, again, we buy these TVs so that we have that luxury feel. I mean, I don't know a soul alive that's dropping S95B money for Vizio performance motion-wise, but that's kind of what happens. So doing that, it's almost like a direct punishment, if you will, and you just paid them. Now, some people have opted not to buy this TV, and at this point, I want to say that that while, of course, sure is a move you can make, isn't the one I would recommend. The reason for that is because when you look at the consumer market right now, a lot of it is just darn repetitive. You have the same processor, the same features just being repackaged in a new unit that usually looks exactly the same as last year's model design-wise. And they don't do a whole lot to change because nowadays they don't have to. They have influencers to market, so there's no real innovation happening much these days. The S95B truly is one of the best innovations to come out in TV technology in years. And that's with the quantum dots behind that extra brightness that we get. It really is a good TV. It has some issues and the firmware is a big one. But that's avoidable. And that's why I'm telling you not to update. Because as you're seeing on the screen, you have some pretty wonderful moments and the television just looks darn good. It, it, I'm telling you, it doesn't do it justice, this footage, but when you see it in person, it just looks so beautiful. Reds pop like you've never seen before and the brightness in tandem with that, I'm telling you, is like a magical whole new experience of TV you didn't know you needed until you had it. And the best part is the Samsung S95B is on sale these days more often than not. You can get it anywhere from 1200 I found a deal through this last Memorial Day sale on 997 for the Samsung S95B 55-inch, and it's just a great deal that you'd be kind of foolish to turn up. Because even if you could buy the Samsung S95C, it's not going to provide you a leap and bound improvement, and in fact, I found that the colors are slightly worse than what we had. Now, all that being said doesn't mean that you shouldn't buy the S95C. It's just not quite as good, and the speakers definitely took a little bit of a downgrade. That doesn't mean that, again, it's a bad TV. It just means that the direction is kind of shifting in other areas, like HDR. That was a huge improvement this year. Frankly, I don't watch a whole lot of SDR, so it didn't really matter to me, and the price points of a lot of the newer TVs just don't add up when you see the features that they're offering then it makes it kind of like a no-brainer to go with the S95B, which I will still say is the best TV on the market right now at the present. Now, that may change later down the road, but right now, that's just where we are. What I can say is the Samsung S95B on firmware 1310 is still a good TV, and it is something that most people will be very happy to have. So the moral of the story here is really simple. Don't update your TV, even though they promise new features. You do that, and you'll walk away the winner. Thanks so much for watching the number one brand in honesty. Leave your comments if you disagree or if you agree down below. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.